For fashion consultant Natalia Penteado, cosmetic products are an essential item. Every month, it takes a sizable chunk out of her budget. But as the economy struggles in Brazil and her clients spend less, she has made some adjustments to her buying habits. Before, I would go to the stores to buy newly released products to try and find the best ones. I don't do that anymore. And I also replace the more expensive brands with cheaper ones that are almost the same. Recession has hit the Brazilian market for beauty and personal hygiene products. According to the Industries Association, their revenue dropped by 6% in 2016 when compared to 2015. The manager of this cosmetics subscription startup that sends customers a monthly box with assorted products says the impact was felt throughout the industry. 2016 was even harder than we or our partner brands were expecting. Negotiations were really tough as we noticed industries were feeling the crisis and selling less. And we also lost subscribers last year. The president of the Cosmetics and Personal Hygiene Industry Association says when consumer demand dropped, companies had less to invest. To compensate, companies are trying to invest more in exporting their products. Our industry invests a lot in innovation and in new technologies. As consumers are moving to cheaper products, the trend is to offer more of these options instead of developing new products and technologies. 2016 was the second straight year of decline in the Brazilian cosmetics industry. And as the recession continues, companies don't rule out the same could happen in 2017. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.